So yeah, change of uh, CRT. The Sony 21 inch TV that I had in here, it's developed a problem. It's got like these faint wavy lines on the screen. Sometimes they're very visible, sometimes they're not. But um, I've basically put that away. I will try and fix it at some point. And I've got out this really small 14 inch TV. The reason why I'm not using the other 21 inch Trinitron is because that's got a fault as well, slight fault. The other screen it's a little bit squished. So I'm now using this Matsui 14 inch TV. It's a pretty decent TV. Because the screen is smaller than the 21 inch, it means that like the centre of the screen it's lower down. And sitting in front of the TV playing video games, it felt like the screen was a little bit too low. So I've just heightened the TV up a bit by putting this white board underneath it. And it's not really heightened the TV that much because the board isn't that thick. But for some reason it feels like it's made a lot of difference. It, it feels like the TV is a lot more higher for some reason. And so now, it, now the height feels perfect. So, I mean, it doesn't look that great having this, having that white board there. I mean, the Atari Jaguar, it's kind of hanging over the edge. It is stable, it won't fall off or anything. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some glide buns. So they're kind of like these plastic feet that you have under furniture. Um, and I'm going to take the glide buns. I'm going to get some glide buns that are a bit taller than the ones that are under this TV unit. Take the ones that are under this TV unit out, you know, unscrew them. Screw in some uh, some glide buns that are a bit taller, and then that will heighten the uh, the TV unit a bit. And then I won't have to use the whiteboard. All right, so these are the games that I've been playing recently. So first up on the Nintendo DS is the Simpsons game. This is a platform game, and it's not bad. It's uh, it's quite fun actually. I'm not. I'm not really that sure if it's a game that I'm probably going to get into or not because I've not played that much of it yet but it does seem quite fun, um, there's quite a lot of variation there. Next is uh, Professor Heinz Wolf's Gravity and he is a real professor, it's not just, it's not like he's, it's just some guy who they've dressed up like a made up character for the game is actually a real professor. Um, he, he died in 2018, I think. So, yeah, so basically this is like, it's a physics puzzle game, and I really, really like it. It seems like the kind of game that wouldn't really be that popular, you know, it wouldn't really be mainstream. Um, I can't really imagine that many kids being that into it, but um, I really, really enjoy it. So the goal basically is to just make something hit a red button. It's kind of like an obstacle course. You've got like a hole and you can like drop a ball from it. Sometimes a little cart will uh, drop from it and you can set things up. You've got like these different kind of blocks and different things that you can use to kind of set things up to make the ball or the cart um, either hit the button or the ball or cart will hit something and then that something will end up hitting the button. It's kind of difficult to explain but yeah it's a really really fun game and some of the music in this game is really nice as well. It's like really relaxing and stuff. It's quite a therapeutic game actually. So next up is uh, Title Legends and Title Legends 2 on the PS2. I'm not going to show any gameplay footage of these because uh, well, several years back I did a review either on one of these or both of these and Title didn't like that. Um, I don't know the right way of saying it. Is it a copyright claim or something? Um, title did something like that and I thought, you know something, I'm just going to delete the videos because I don't want to risk losing monetization on my channel and I don't, I don't want to risk my channel getting a strike either. So I just deleted the videos and yeah, so I'm never going to show any gameplay footage of uh, Title games again. Just to be on the safe side, I mean, it's it doesn't really make any sense to me. It would be understandable if if the review was like a really negative one of the of the compilation, but it was actually really positive. But title still didn't like me showing gameplay footage on YouTube. So, I mean, it doesn't really make any sense because it's basically free advertising for title. But whatever. Anyway, yeah. So. Really, really awesome retro compilations. I'm loving like the the different versions of Space Invaders. I really like Space Invaders '91, 
Um, Space Invaders 95, I think there's like, like a cartoon Space Invaders and I think that's the 95 one. And I'm really enjoying some of the uh, like the, the 2D shoot 'em ups and stuff on these. Just really, really awesome retro compilations. Probably my most favourite retro compilations of all time, maybe. Next is Ford versus Chevy. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's it's not that bad. Um, not only do you like race in the game, but there's also challenges as well. Uh, you can take the side of Ford if you want to, or you can take the side of uh, Chevy. Siberia. Um, I don't know if this is like kind of a, a. I don't know if you call this a hidden gem or whatever. Kind of seems like a game that's probably not that well known. I'm not really sure why. Um, I like it, you know. It's uh, it reminds me of Resident Evil because you've got the uh, I can't remember what the right um, word is to describe it, but it's like you've got 2D backgrounds, but they they look like they're in 3D, um, and your character is in 3D, and your character moves around in 3D space. And it's basically just kind of like an adventure and you've just got to like just figure things out, look for clues and it's just a very calming, therapeutic, relaxing game. I, uh, I like it quite a lot. And then lastly, WRC. Wow. Um, I just absolutely love this game. Um, it's like I'm addicted to it. I'm, I play it almost every night. I spend a lot of time on it. Um, I've been playing it for about two weeks now um, I mean maybe compared to modern rally games this might be quite crap I don't know because I've not played any modern rally games I do want to play some and maybe if I did do if I went back to this it might seem crap I don't know but it's just I just love the game I, I love the, the handling of the vehicles I love the fact that the vehicles get dirty over time you can hear the gravel um, you know, you can feel the vibrations of like the bumped like dirt tracks and stuff. It's just, it's just a really enjoyable game. And uh, I only recently found out that this is a, a PS2 exclusive, which I found quite surprising. It, I, I, I would have thought that this would be out on the GameCube and Xbox as well, but no, it's a PS2 exclusive. So it's basically, I, I guess it's a, like a rally simulation. It's like real cars, real tracks and stuff, it's based on the 2001 uh, uh, World Rally Championship. You know, I've played through it on Novice, I've played through it on Intermediate and now I'm playing through it, well I've, I've already played through it a few times um, on Professional and I'm finding it really difficult to come first so I'm just kind of like, once I've played through Professional I'll then pick a different car and play through Professional again to see, you know, see if I can unlock any, uh, any extra things. Yeah, it's just a, a very satisfying game to play. So, that's it. So the games that I've been playing recently is WRC, World Rally Championship, Siberia, Ford vs Chevy, Title Legends, and Title Legends 2, all on PS2, and Professor Hines Wolf's Gravity on the DS, and uh, not played that much of this yet, but the, uh, the Simpsons game in it, you know, it does seem quite promising. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.